Entering the stage of a political drama that had descended into farce the day before, Lucas Papademos, a banker, not a politician, the new Prime Minister of Greece. I'm convinced that the participation of our country in the Eurozone is a guarantee for the country's monetary stability. It's a driver of financial prosperity, and despite the difficulties that we are facing, would facilitate Greece's economic adjustment and development. That's what Eurozone leaders wanted to hear from the man not elected by the people, but chosen after a long, often angry wrangle between politicians. Colossal pressure from Brussels on chaotic talks. George Papandreou and opposition leader Antonis Samaras, desperately at odds but having to find political consensus from somewhere. The first, some say only, part of the Papademos mission to pass the bailout package worth nearly $180 billion and set the course of reform and even more austerity. But this government's term is only three months before elections. The arrival of a technocrat as Prime Minister of this Parliament ushers in a new era in Greek politics. It sends positive signals to Eurozone leaders, but what does it mean for Greek people? They've watched with disdain as names have been put up only to be shot down. Now there's a despair. Many are unsure of what a technocrat in power will mean for them. But Greek people know that at least Papadimos is probably going to be a better solution in terms of implementing the plans that we have signed. On the other hand, the plans are very harsh and a better implementation will mean harsher measures for the people, a harsher fate. He said goodbye before, but this is his final farewell. George Papandreou out halfway through his term. Most Greeks wanted that, but with a politician or a technocrat as its leader, there is more pain to come for Greece. Outside Parliament a few hours later, thousands of anti-austerity demonstrators from the KKE Communist Party. This, the third largest party, refuses to be part of the unity government. And Lucas Papademos will face bigger resistance than this in his brief term of office. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Athens.